ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Have you been good this year? If you have, I'm going to be coming to visit you very soon on Christmas Eve. Now, you may not see me, but I always see you. Very few people do see me when I come, but once in a great while someone does. And I'd like to tell you the story of one man who did see me almost 200 years ago when I came by his home. His name was Clement C. Moore, and he wrote a poem about it called A Visit from St. Nick. Now, you may know it better by the first line of the poem, and it goes like this. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And what? To my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick i knew in a moment it must be saint nick more rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now dasher now dancer now prancer now vixen on comet on cupid on donner and blitzen to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, up to the housetop his coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A sack full of toys he'd thrown over his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard in his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was stubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, and then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. <whistles> And away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere they drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.